We're going to be moving on to this German UK Retreat Tempo deck. So this is a deck that I kind of came up with slash threw together last week and I was excited to try it for you guys on stream today. So uh, a, a while back we were playing an, a, a German list, an aggressive list that was running Pursuit. And, when, and while we found that this card was a little too clunky in an aggressive shell, the effect still felt powerful and felt like it could be... It could be it could be an effect that a more mid rangey deck might want, and so this deck was kind of built around the idea of you know retreating, uh, using retreat as a form of as a way to generate tempo, and so as the name of this deck suggests, we're running a lot of retreat effects. So in addition to the pursuits that we have in this deck, we're running Panzer IV F twos and RAF Lightnings, as well as a few delaying tactics, another new card from the latest expansion here at the bottom end as a way to like push the enemy back and generate some tempos, generate some advantage there. Britain felt like the natural pairing um, for a deck like this, mostly because of the RAF Lightnings, but also I felt like I really wanted to try the delaying tactics. I also think number one Commando is a pretty good two drop in a deck like this. And of course we're running some if we're if we're all in on the retreat idea we may as well be running some of these typhoons uh and see what we can do right um just a solid on curve threat that can generate us card advantage uh when paired with these retreat effects um and with the idea that we're generating tempo in mind i figured we would be running a lot of three drops plus encirclement to try to like uh which is also just a very good it seems like it'd be a very good good thing to pair with our delaying tactics so we can like throw down some three drops on our like on the early turns of the game push the enemy back with delaying tactics take the front line uh with these three sixes that makes you know that are very sticky hard for them to take the front line back then we can start encircling our stuff encirclement also notably is actually pretty good with number one commando if we move it to the front line and circle it we can like take something out that they weren't weren't expecting we're effectively turning this encirclement into a targeted removal order uh and then we're trying some other cheeky cards in here i guess you could say along with this so because we know that we're retreating a lot of the enemy units back to hand we're running things like careless talks and oop, hello we're running things like careless talk and uh and from the deep this thing doesn't want to work anymore and from the deep that trigger when they redeploy the units, but we're also trying these strangleholds here. So if we bounce a unit back to their hand that uh, we know they really want to play out at the start of their following turn and then take away all their credits, that can be a huge, huge tempo swing uh, for us. So these things, they seem like on paper that they'd be good inclusion in this deck. They may end up being just too cute, too cheeky, i.e. not very good, but we're gonna give them a shot here and see, and see how it goes. I think the, the rest of the deck um, kind of speaks for itself. Albacore is just a solid two drop. Flom Panzers, Panzers three L's and three H's. Um, Admiral Hipper is kind of like another bounce. Of, even though it's not a retreat effect, it's a bounce effect. And then, of course, at the top end, we have things like Comet and Leopold to generate a lot of value. And Leopold, like the ultimate tempo swing card, right? Uh, so, yeah. Oh, the other thing about. Um, yeah, speaking of retreat cards, typhoon and whatnot, there are there might be times where it's where we're in a position where we don't care so much about holding the front line, but we kind of need more card advantage. So if we have two three units in the front line and a typhoon on the field, we can turn this delaying tactics into a draw two draw three, um, which can which can sometimes be very good. So anyway, enough preamble. Let's jump into some games and see how we do. I'm not. I'm I'm certain we're probably going to get run over with this deck, but we'll see if we can't kind of do the thing a few times and have fun with it. Uh, someone mentioned Hummels before. Yeah, we're not running enough tanks to justify Hummel. Um, I'd rather just have other cards that aren't just aren't reliant on on synergy in order to be good. Uh, the encirclement might be okay if we're on the play. They're likely an aggressive deck, though, so I think I want to throw these back in favor of 
other cards. I think I'm fine with the careless talk though. Well, that's an interesting starting hand. You think we can convince our opponent to play poker instead of cards for a second? Worth noting that if you want to stranglehold and kill a unit when they come down, you need to sequence them in this in this order. You need to stranglehold first and then careless talk. At least in my kind of test games against the AI. Because if, if your careless talk kills their unit, it won't stranglehold it. Um, I think for now we're okay just putting double careless talk though. This is actually a pretty bad starting hand. One stranglehold might have been fine. The second one's probably a little bit... Probably pretty bad to draw this early in the game. I guess it depends on what our opponent's doing. Looks like our opponent might also be on countermeasures because they're not playing anything, but their hand's moving a whole lot. Let's just do this. Next turn, we'll just run out the Panzer 3H, I think. Okay. Hmm. The pursuit might be okay here. So they're at a f otherwise full hand, so I'm actually... This is going to draw them another card, I guess, but we are going to take away a card draw from them. I think that might be okay. Then we can start pressuring them. So if they don't have a one drop here, we're going to take away this. This will turn into a removal for this. And we're going to take away a card. Which I think is what we're going to do here. This is probably not killing whatever he's playing on his next turn, so maybe we just stranglehold, but at the same time... Uh, at the same time, he's probably just gonna play... Something big where the stranglehold doesn't do anything. Yeah, let's just do the careless talk. This matchup's pretty good for us with Comet in hand. Maybe they, they could move this forward to clog up the front line, but it's not amazing. They should just be dead here because like a guard unit doesn't even do it for them.
I guess they could liberation and are they ju are they just dead to that too? Yeah, so car so cards like um, like Stranglehold and Careless Talk, while they are easy to play around, Careless Talk is pretty much for the early game because you can't really play around Careless Talk in the early game. Like if if you if you even if you know I have it and you're an aggressive deck, not playing stuff out on your first few turns is good for me because it buys me time. Um, so there, so careless talk is mostly for for aggro for again the early game and stranglehold. While it is easy to play around, most people don't. So we're just kind of trying to get people with it, right? We're just trying to steal steal games for it <laughs> or with it. Um, I agree, stranglehold is not very good, but we're kind of hope it, we're 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 gonna see like how it works in our deck and if it does if it does anything. It's definitely one of the first cards I'd be looking to cut if it's underperforming. Um, but yeah. If if a if a an, if an inexperienced opponent isn't thinking about it and they play out a cheap unit, you know, and then lose their whole turn, um, it can be very beneficial for us. But if they know if they know we have it, it's it's one of the weakest countermeasures for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, I agree. Sometimes it can be good though, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much for the early game. I don't know that I want. Well, if they're playing, if they're playing tokens, delaying tactics could be okay to buy us time. And a Leopold's very good against tokens. I just don't think we can keep it in our hand. Um, uh, maybe, but I, I don't know about that. The problem is delaying tactics is kind of bad against the 109th engineers. And then we're really leaning on Leopold. Eh, I think we just throw these back and like see what else we we can find. Flom Ponzers, yeah. Flom Ponzers pretty good against tokens. Pretty good hit. Their two drop for our one one cost card is pretty good. Okay, play this out. Next turn we can pursuit uh, something. Take the front line with this. Let's see what he plays. Okay, he didn't want to play that out, so that's fine. I think I want to Pursuit. Eh, no, I think we just play more stuff. Yeah, I, I, I gotta take Leopold here. You can't not take Leopold. Okay, so we're gonna Pursuit the guard unit. So we can kill this nice and easy. Move this up. Now we can just start bouncing their stuff every turn until we build up like a, a really, really big board that they uh, have trouble dealing with. That's fine by me. possible I'm supposed to hip her there so that I can shoot this hmm okay now I like 
bouncing this because this plus this kills the guard unit. Look at our golden boys here taking up the front line. It's unfortunate, but at least we got some value off of that before it went away. Ooh, another pursuit. So I definitely want to get something like this down again. They're running US cards. Well, that's mean. That's pretty mean. Maybe I was supposed to hip her there. Hip her this back to their hand. Retreat effects notably bad against uh, powerful deployment effects. Surprised they didn't take the front line with this to protect their bomber. Maybe they misclicked. Well, that would be good with pursuit here, but I don't really want to pursuit that back to their hand. Well, I have a choice though. Hello, nerd ocalypse. Nerd ocalypse. Sorry, <laughs> I can't speak most mornings apparently. Yeah, that's a bomber. Yeah, there's a good chance we just, like, this deck can't beat U.S. cards <laughs> because we can't. We're just all, we're relying on bouncing stuff back to hand, and they're just all about their powerful deployment effects. We're probably not fast enough to get under them where we can affordably bounce their stuff back to hand. Yeah, a good chance we're just dead here at this point. Circlement could be okay if this can work. I'd want to play this out, but that's just, it's not going to go well. What do we do? Do we just let this go? Just play it out. It'll be like a distraction. Because this will deal three to this. And this can finish it off if we delaying tactics, encirclement, attack that. Maybe we have enough of a board presence at that point that we can do something. We'll see. All right, never mind. Doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. Oh yeah, I did. I forgot to change the deck, uh, the deck command. I'll do that after this match.
Well, we could Leopold. If we Leopold and he plays b17 and it hits the 3-6, these encirclements are embarrassing. But then we still we have a Leopold. Not sure what else we would do. This is two of these in circle doesn't kill one, doesn't kill that, which is sad. All right, I'm just gonna call it there. I need to update the uh, the deck command anyway. There we go. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Scout Shout and Behemothus. Or maybe you're just Behemoth US. You're the United States Behemoth. Hmm. Okay. Just play that out. He might pin this with an albacore, but then on turn four we can encircle and then shoot one of his bombers and eat it for free, which is kind of neat. And then gain two credits back. Dead meat, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Well, geez. Ooh. Let's play that out. Maybe this will act like a distraction and he'll bomb the crap out of this. Let's just... The nice thing is that we have two death touch units in the front line now, so if he buffs the crap out of the one bomber and kills the one, the other is going to cause him problems. I guess he could run these units into it to prevent that from happening. But no, he doesn't have enough credits. Close air support, bomb something, and then he can't kill kill the second thing. He could have uh, air superiority, I suppose. But then we have Wraith Lightning to bounce it back in hand, so... That's kind of neat. Okay, this could be a, like a really good stranglehold turn. Damn it. Monty is... Why you gotta kill our fun, Monty?
So do I Pursuit or do I Wraith? I think I, I kind of don't want to put too many units on the board to then die to like sweepers that they could be running. So I think I just do this. Well, thanks for joining us uh, for a live one, uh, your boy, Rodri. Yeah, I'm going to try to stream every money. There's going to be some exceptions, of course, but uh, the plan for the foreseeable future is stream every Monday and, and Friday. And yeah, hopefully I can keep that up as, as best as possible. Definitely need more threats soon. We know he has a hurricane and a fighter in hand. I don't think I, I want to play those out just... This eats the hurricane, but so can that. Well, it trades with it. I, I don't know. Let's just... Okay, well, you can... As per normal, uh, I'm going to upload the full match to YouTube so you can check it out later. Yeah, this is some this is some craziness, Quantumpy. Quantumpy? Quantumpy? Quantumpy. Um it's definitely not worth crafting. If you're going to craft the cards that are in this deck, don't do it because it's they're in this deck. <laughs> Man. All right, let's play this out and pass. Is he going to kill us with like double burning sun, rapid fire, or burst of fire, or something? Oh, he's running Soviet. Okay, so he has Patriotic Force then. Gotcha. Three, six, nine, twelve. We don't even have enough to kill him next turn, so we somehow have to fade like multiple draws. Protects us against a Cat Yusha or like a Blitz Hurricane unit. So that's kind of nice. Oh no, not card draw. No, not more card draw. Oh my god, another careless talk. That's so good. I think we just play this out for damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have lethal anyway. 
And this wouldn't change anything if you could take off take out one of these units. <laughs> yeah, well, how do you pronounce it then? I've I've been pronouncing it Katyusha this whole time, so. Oh damn it! I wasn't thinking of Bloody Sickle. Close game. It's Katusha? I don't know why I put in the U, I guess. Katusha? How have we been playing this deck for 30 minutes already? It feels like that was only our second match. <laughs> Have a good uh, flight, uh, your boy Rodri. Hope it all goes well. Do we want to keep all of this? Oh, I see. Katyusha. Okay. I'll try to remember that. I have a feeling we might not want that. Ooh. I think I'll go for that first, though. Oh. Thanks, Alteza. Yeah, that makes it so much more clear. So if he doesn't move this up, we will bounce it or bounce whatever else he plays, move these two up. If he does move this up, we'll trade with we'll we'll trade our number one commando for it, then move up our three six. Uh we'll play Noxub first, of course. Sure. Now, do I want to just take the front line, play out some stuff, or do I still want to pursue this? I feel like I can just take the front line, yeah? I want to be resource efficient, though, so I guess we're playing out the 3L if we do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So I think we want to knock Shub. Am I pronouncing that right? Maybe the chat can correct my pronunciation of this one too. Nakshub. That's how I've been pronouncing that one. Okay. Kill you. Don't want to bounce you. Could finish it off. I honestly probably just play the Panzer 3L. And hold up thingy. What's better here? Comet or Panzer? Probably the Panzer. Um. 
my god, we could delaying tactics. It's actually worse for us if we do. Are we supposed to shoot that? I don't know. We could retreat our own thing and get a redraw next turn. Is that silly? If I was going to do that, I should have done that before. Whatever. Let's just do it. Because it's weird. Ugh, then we draw encirclement, what the hell? Where were you before? I needed you for this guy. Why are all of the like, why are you playing that card? Stop playing good cards. We're playing a bad deck. You should play a bad deck too. Then we can have fun. Maybe this? Yeah, stop playing good cards, opponent. How do you expect us to win with our bad deck if you keep playing good cards? I believe we have died. Yeah, if only we'd drawn that encirclement earlier when we still had the 3L, that game could have gone a lot differently. We still could have lost, but at least it would have taken a bit longer. We could have at least delayed the inevitable. Turn one, two, or one, two, depending on what he does. If he's aggro, this deck, this hand is awesome. If he's not, we're crying. We'll assume he's on the aggro plan and keep this hand. Although we are on the play, so maybe two careless talk was questionable. Or we're on the draw, sorry. We're not on the play. I can do this all day, buddy. Gotta play something eventually. They will if the first unit survives. But only if the first unit survives.
Oh, I see. They're playing ramp, so we're probably dead. Awkward. Aha, he'll 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 fall for this for sure. Yeah, there's a good chance that this deck just can't do is just not good because there's just too much U US cards running around or too many US mid-range and ramp decks running around. The the retreat effects are just so bad against it. I mean, it probably wasn't playable even if that wasn't the case, but I'm just saying it's like extra unplayable because of that. <clears throat> wow, we're just getting savaged. What an embarrassing pile this deck is. I mean, we could have bounced uh, bounced the B17 back to his hand and like denied him a card draw, but it's just like, that doesn't matter. Like, the average card that he's gonna draw off the top of his deck is worse than that deploy effect, so. I don't know. This is probably... Well, if he's playing Commandos, this might kill something. This is probably bad against the British deck. Is, I think we can find something else in our opener. The other two I like. Ooh, that's not bad. This with this paired with this is kind of nice. I just move this up and encircle it. Could also strangle hold. That probably doesn't do a whole lot. I don't think I want to encircle this yet. Could save this. I think next turn we just Panzer 3H. Is it worth doing it? This card's probably... Unless he's playing commandos and he wants to, like, commando get value, this card is probably not going to be very good in this matchup. Spoilers, this card's not very good, period, but... Alright, we- so... A nut- probably also on US Bombers. Because this deck just can't dodge bombers for the life of it.
Circle Man might be okay. I don't think we really want anything else. He's going to be thinking we have another careless talk, and he's going to play out a small unit, and then he's going to lose all his resources. Big brain plays. Or he could just play nothing. So I'm assuming he has a second carpet bombing. Real talk, do I just bounce that? I probably kill it, bounce this. What's one, two... Six, eight, can only deal. Because then he can't carpet bomb. Well, he can, but then he'll take a lot of damage. I mean, we don't have anything in hand. Ah, let's just bounce that shoot face. Now he's going to play the two guards. Hopefully we draw a Pursuit. Pursuit wins us the game, right? Leo. Does Leo win us the game? Killed one of it, killed his biggest guard unit. Devil, where's that sub? <laughs> where's that sub? <laughs> yeah. I mean, our tempo deck beat the slow, clunky draw from the ramp deck. What a, what a surprise. I, was he even on ramp? Like, we didn't see a single ramp card from him, right? It was just pretty much, it was, I think he was playing like 
UK US control and just had a really slow slow draw I don't know no Avengers like no B-17s didn't find his second carpet bombing yeah so when we know that our deck can do okay when the enemy draws poorly that's at least something Yeah, I pay I pay drill gear to to throw the match. I I now owe him a sub. Let's throw these back and keep these. Maybe I'm supposed to throw the other Panzer IV against Manila. Yeah, that's probably true. Okay. Immediately draw Panzer III a a anyway. Bam, bam. This is probably pointless this early, but... Alright, they're like playing some sort of control deck and we drew an encirclement, so I think I'll play my three drop. Mother says no. Alright, fair enough. Don't go against mother. Mustn't. Mustn't anger mother. Got him, I guess? I don't know. I actually take that. Pass. If we get a turn with these, we'll just kill this and get back some of our resources with Nakshib. Attack. Probably not happening, but... A typhoon. This card is so cool. Too bad it's bad. Artwork on that is just awesome. I gotta be honest, I haven't seen our opponent's archetype in a very long time. I thought people had pretty much given up on trying to make Japan control a thing. And although we have way, like a lot of ways of dealing with guard units, they're not permanent ways of dealing with guard units, and so I don't think we're going to be fast enough to get under, you know, sweeping pin effects and, like, other control cards that he's running and things like To the Last Man. It's probably just not happening. So let's do this. Play out the Typhoon again. Probably just play this out. At least he killed one of his own big guard units with that. Depending on how much he has, Comet could be very good. Ooh. 
well then. Woo! We drew a card with Typhoon, boys. Achievement unlocked. No, it's got to be like the full tier 3 sub. And Devil, you don't have to sub if you don't want to. I appreciate I appreciate you being here and following and supporting me that way. I will have, I would of course appreciate a sub if you if you want to throw it my way, but please don't feel obligated to do so. Um, I think we're supposed to Man, if I attack with both of these, I don't have room to panzer this and then draw another card. Could do this. All, all units in the front line retreat. Won't draw a card with this, though. That's poopy. Let's start by doing this. Because it's, it's free and, like, the one damage is probably not going to matter that much. It's crazy to move this up. I'm not gonna. I don't think I want to put any anything else on the board. He's going into the to the last man turn, and this is kind of a big enough board that he ha he's got to deal with as is. Okay, I might actually just throw these two at this. Maybe it's wrong. If we can kill all of his guard units, we might be able to win with Comet. Uh-oh. He's got a sheet in now, right? Like, that's what that means? 10 out of 10 has a sheet in. Well, I appreciate it, Devil. Thanks a lot. Oop. Cannot attack enemy HQ. Man, it sucks that this got bumped up to a 7. Damn you, Blackwatch. Okay, so we've gone through three Osakas, but we haven't seen any Takasagis or the 4-4 guard that draws cards. So... What are the chances that he draws another guard unit before we can, like, run him down? Probably pretty high. Ooh, that's nice, though. I guess I'll learn my lesson from last time and bounce this. But this is the thing that can hit the HQ. But at this point, we're racing him, so... I think this is better. I think Shiden was my first Japan Elite as well, which was awesome. Oh, did he find a... Uh... Guard? No, he found something that blocked the front line.
I want to save this in case he has a uh, thingy. There's no way to survive against a blitzy fighter though, right? Not really. Oh no, wait, I have this. Oh no, it's too expensive. Gosh darn it. Damn, this Admiral Hipper is too expensive. We're just dead then, eh? Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to let him have the Blitzy planes. Because it's more likely that he has guard units than the Blitzy plane. Based on what we've seen. Um, okay, how do we, what do we do here then? Gotta like, kill this. Kill that. We're just dead. We're just dead to the stuff he has on board. Ah. Alright, definitely a mistake. I should have just... I should have just let myself be dead to a Hien or whatever that other blitz plane is. A Sheedan. Oh, we were dead to a Sheedan regardless, I think, right? So, our deck won that game, but I made a bad decision and we lost. That's kind of annoying. Our Flampanzer kills this at least, which is nice. Uh, this is going to be the last match with this deck. Uh, I got to go after this. Ooh. Play all of the Careless Talk. This card's a little bit better against Britain now because they want to play Honeys on two. Since he's playing Commandos, I think it's better to run this out. Hold up Careless Talk. We can encircle whatever he doesn't pin <laughs> the next turn unless he runs Monty. suiting here.
We have him dead on board now. Might have to throw one of these away to kill this. He doesn't have to throw it away. He can just eat it, eat it with a honey. Wasn't enough though. better way to end the stream right beating one of the game's top players top players with our meme deck um so yeah thanks everyone for hanging out uh for those who don't know i uh ramistrov thanks a lot for the follow man hope you enjoyed the stream thanks for uh thanks for stopping by um for those who don't know, you can check out all of the uh, decks we play on stream on my YouTube channel. I break uh, each video. Each video uh, represents a single deck. And uh, for those who might be new, I stream. try to stream every Monday and Friday. Uh, for now, it's Mondays uh, from 11 to 1 and Fridays from 11 to 3 uh, Eastern Daylight Time. So... Uh, yeah, so check out the YouTube channel if you want to see some patch, past matches or if you missed any of the games uh, that we played today and you want to see them. And I uh, hope to see you guys this Friday where we'll play even more decks uh, and, you know, play some more cards, right? The game we all know and love and play and, yeah, all that good stuff. Next deck, discard deck with Dorn with uh, Dornier and Stuka. Uh, I don't think so. 